With a goal like his on Saturday, there's no questioning why he was your man of the match. Today I spoke to Ollie about an inform Craig Noon and how important he's going to be for the rest of the season. Behind me are some memorabilia from that victorious 1927 FA Cup campaign. As we head to the fourth round this Saturday, the gaffer looked ahead to meet in Bolton. Oh well, uh, the game he played there was terrific. He, uh, I think he terrorised the full back and the centre backs at times as well. So uh, when he's in that form, he'll, he'll create chances for us, even at the ground like Etihad. So um, just. Uh, my job is now to keep him performing at that level. You know, it was an in unfortunate result at the end of the day, but against a team like Man City, who have, you know, they've reached 100 goals in 34 games, you don't have to look too far to wonder why. No, 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 they have squad with uh, uh, talent amass. You, you can't uh, hope for uh, uh, too much up there, really. We, we went out there 15 minutes ago and we had something to play for. We were in the game and we had the, the crowd shaky, the players a bit shaky. So the response after a very poor start was, was great because we didn't start the game as I hoped for. And Ali, following the Man City game, Gary Medell travelled back in a certain style with his family and a few of the fans. Yeah, yeah of course, we, uh, I stayed up in, in Manchester and uh, when Gary wants to go with his family down in the train, I think uh, sometimes that's, uh, uh, you let them do that and uh, I think the fans enjoyed it as well. And there'll be more from the gaffer later in the show. What a debut it was for new signing Matt Muller daly as he was involved in the emphatic victory over Swansea on Monday. Here's what he has to say about his new life in Cardiff. Now it was um, nice to be back playing. It was uh, my first game in seven weeks, I think. So uh, it was good to get uh, get 45 minutes to get my legs going, and uh, I felt good, and it was uh, we played well. I thought so. It was a good game. No, but because I played in, in United before, so I know. I know the season and the setup here, and but it's different just going straight into the season. Of course, you have to adapt uh, a bit to that, but uh, it's been good because I've trained two weeks and uh, no, it's been nice. It's been uh, been very good. The lads have uh, welcomed me, and uh, everyone's really nice. And uh, I just hope to to start playing and, and do well for the team. Yeah, of course, I I want to play. I want to play in the first team, but I know I'm still developing and that I'm still young, so I know that. It's bits of my game I need to work on, of course, but uh, but I'm here to play, I want to play, so just want to do well when I get the chance. Yeah, it's uh, it's a huge game and uh, if I get the chance to play in that, it's, uh, it's, re it's really, really good and uh, th that's the games you want to play in, so uh, that's why I try to do well when I get the chance. And Iceman Aaron Gunnison spoke about making his mark on this Saturday's game. Coming into a game in the Premier League, it's, it's hard, no matter what team you're playing. But I, I think all the players are fully focused. Um, but we, we are here to do our job and uh, to focus on the next game. We, we just want the three points, and that's it. We obviously know we've got hard, hard games coming up um, against the top teams. Um, but like I said, we just have to keep going, keep focusing on ourselves. Um, as long as we do that and work hard for each other, then you never know what's going to happen, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll keep our place in this league because we want to be here and uh, this is a place we, we all want to play in, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll keep going. Players of the first team and departmental ambassadors of the Cardiff City Community and Education Foundation got involved in the filming of a new promo video this week. The foundation is a charity the boys are heavily favourable of and their support is invaluable. It's all coming up soon for you to look out for. The women grabbed a 1-0 victory over Aberystwyth Town Ladies last weekend in their second meeting of the week. Yet another victory for our futsal scholars in the Soccer AM Cup this week beating West Brom 9-4. Why, thank you, Fred. I'll take that off your hands. And someone who was on hand this week to speak to us was Ben Turner, and he certainly knows what it takes to do well in the cup. Um, no, I don't think anyone really is untouchable. It's just a matter of you need to be at your best on, the, on, on your day with certain players, and you need to hope they have an off day. We're against quality opposition every single week. Home form is going to be key. Um, if we can pick things up on the road, which we have here and there, if you haven't got that mentality, you wouldn't get you wouldn't be, get to the Premier League in the first place as a team and, and as probably as an individual. So. 
but, but when we get there, we, we'll be looking to win win that game. But like I say, it's, it's one game at a time, and um, we know that the the next game is a massive game. Again, like I say, every every time we lose a game, we look at it, and, and, and you can always think we're disappointed. But um, I think in the we, we felt that at Liverpool because we felt it, it was brilliant finishing from Suarez that kind of put the game beyond our reach. But before that, and and. Before that, leading up to the, these 20 minutes of, of brilliance in the first half, we were well in the game, we were playing pretty well. And in the second half, I thought we, we played very well and we, de we deserved more, go well, more chances at goals because I think we, should, we had a good few penalty shouts. But then, you know, if you step away and look, again look at the bigger picture, I think a point a, point a game, we're not going to be far off staying up. Um, and that's exactly what we've got at the minute. So it's, it's really, I think, if we can keep doing what we're doing, while we'll have good days and bad days, we, I think hopefully the whole club at the end of the season can, can look at it and say we'll, we'll be in the Premier League next season and that, that's a massive task but that's what we're trying to do. I mean, As far as we're concerned and I'm sure the manager would agree, we're trying to just stay on, on task and keep, keep in the Premier League and, and I think you know, if, if everyone pulls together there's absolutely no reason why we can't do that. Ali was obviously no stranger to lifting a cup throughout his playing career and likewise during his time managing Mulder. Gaffer spoke to FA TV this week about how the Premier League compares to Norwegian ways and how his past success can translate to Cardiff running the Cup. You mentioned you won the Cup with Mulder. Um, how does that, that, that domestic Cup competition compare with the one over here? Yeah. That's actually uh, as big or maybe even bigger because now with the Champions League and winning the league here and top four, that's taken over a bit of that glamour. So in Norway, the, the one biggest game in Norway is the FA Cup, or is the Cup Final equivalent to the FA Cup Final. So that was a fantastic moment, full uh, stadium. So these are the moments you work in football for. And one man who's got the motor to keep on going and going is Mr. Duracell himself, Don Cowie. You know, every game's tough in this league. You know, we're well aware of that. But what it does, it gives us that confidence going into them. And um, we've showed on our day that we can beat anyone, you know, beat Man City already at home. You know, when you're at, at home and you're watching whatever game's live on TV and you're, you know, you're, normally you're watching it just as a, a spectator, just, you know, tuning in to watch what, what's happening. But now all of a sudden you're watching the game and, and looking at it a bit differently, thinking, you know, next week or two weeks down the line I'm going to be coming up against this team and you start looking at who you might be playing against. and. But you know that's that's what all the hard work was for uh, last year and the you know the years before that was to get to this stage and you know we were really wanting to make the most of it and you know we don't want to you know make sure that it's not just one year we want to be here for many years to come. A bit of a break now from the league on Saturday against yep. Bolton. You're going in favourites. Will a good performance at Bolton kickstart a, a better run in the league? Let's hope so, of course, because uh, we've not now had two games since the Newcastle win. Two tough games. Uh, we could have, should have had more uh, against West Ham. We could have had something against Man City. Get a good result, good performance against Bolton, and then we go to Old Trafford and uh, with uh, our tails up. Hopefully. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> as far as FA Cup drama, you're certainly no mm -hmm. drama for the FA Cup yourself. Yeah. It's ten years ago now that you lifted that trophy here in Cardiff. Do you still remember that day? Uh, yes, I do actually, because. As I was walking around the stadium after, I was thinking that might have been my last game because my knee was bad. I knew I was to have an operation. Uh, later on, I was out for more than uh, almost two years after that. But I got back, so uh, I, I do remember very well. Yeah. I bet you walking around the stadium thinking one day as well, I will be the manager of Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. But actually, for myself, when I was younger, I was more dreaming about being a manager than a football player. I always used to play the championship managers and the football managers, not the, not the games that I had to uh, control the players themselves. So uh, I'm more into my uh, element at the moment. And following Bolton, of course, you have Man United. Yep. You're going to be staying up in Manchester, I believe, then? Yeah, all the travel, uh, of course, it takes a little bit out of the lads, so I thought we'd stay together up there, uh, train, uh, good facilities up there, and then um, save some energy because we'll, we'll need it against United. Talking about Manchester United, that was always one game which all the fans had their eyes on as soon as the draw came out, yeah. as was Swansea. And we're fast approaching the second game now. Yeah. If the development derby is anything to go by, it should be a good game. Oh, definitely. I think uh, uh, the lads did really well. Uh, started the game really well against Swansea, but um, of course we let them back into the game. I think we, we should have played more direct, more uh, 
forward-minded football in that game, so, but the, the kids will learn. Uh, it's a good bunch of uh, young players there. You spoke about an inform Craig Noon, and certainly there is an inform uh, Reese Healy in the development squad. He's oh, yeah. very good, grabs a goal quite often. He's a top goal scorer. He's he, he's got a, a nose for a for a goal, high for a goal. Uh, he doesn't think twice about finishing, and he's a very good finisher. So um, it'll be uh, good to follow his development. Yeah, definitely. And finally, just to look ahead to Bolton, do we have any injuries? How are you looking for players? No, it's looking very good uh, at the moment. Uh, of course, Andrew Taylor, Matt Connolly still out, but the rest's uh, fit and available. Okay, well, all the best with Saturday. Thank, Thank you for your you. time. Cheers.